What one person considers just part of their job can actually be life changing for somebody else. And this is exactly the case in Woodstock just a few weeks ago. The Atlanta News first surprise squad introducing us to a man whose simple gesture it made a big impact. Here's Gravier Dinsa. Nobody wants to run out of gas. So my mom was in the middle of Highway 92. And so then she's blocking the light. But that's exactly what happened to Aaron Roskowski's mother, Robin, a couple of weeks ago. Aaron rushed over with a gas can, but it wasn't enough fuel to get the car going. We're all frustrated at this point. We got a call for a stranded motorist. Woodstock police officer Brian Keene was on patrol that day. It was in this lane right here. He didn't call a tow truck. Without hesitation, he says, you know, if you want to drive your mom's car, I can push you with my patrol car and hopefully you can just glide right into the gas station. I'm about halfway down that little pathway. Then the officer did something Aaron could not believe. And all of a sudden I start moving again and I look behind me and he's gotten out of his patrol car and is physically pushing the car up this little tilt of a road. Just as quickly as he showed up, the officer was gone. I was gonna like try to go talk to him and get his name and badge and you know, so I could at least give him a compliment and he was just like, have a good day. And he, he left before I could even really get any information. I didn't even know his name. The Atlanta News First Surprise Squad does. Hi, come on up here. You're Officer Keen? Yes, ma'am. I'm Gurvie Ardenza with Atlanta News First. So we're here today along with your coworkers and some of our amazing sponsors to say thank you. So come on up here. We got him to the police station with a little white lie that he was being briefed to go serve a warrant. What did you think when you walked in the door here? Um, I was wishing I was going for a warrant. <laughs> Actually, we were joining Beaver Toyota and United Community Bank to give the man who wanted no attention the attention he really deserves. Well, we got a little something for you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Here, open that up. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> awesome. There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. What is it? Looks like NASCAR racing experience. A NASCAR racing experience? You ever wanted to drive a NASCAR? Absolutely. Ever, <laughs> <laughs> ever driven a NASCAR? No. Well, you're going to get your chance. Show us what that is. Thank you very much. Yes. This is awesome. Thank you very much. I can tell you, I have been to NASCAR races with him. That is when he smiles the most. So he's <laughs> going to have a blast doing um, the, the NASCAR experience. <laughs> I hope you realize that not only the people standing behind you, the people from Beaver Toyota, but all of us appreciate what you do each and every day and every one of your other officers. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Things like this help change the world, help change the perception. So when we have an opportunity, we brought a little bit of our team, about four of the 230 people, and we just want to say a thank you and uh, share some happiness. And we appreciate you sharing happiness because you made a big impact in a lot of lives. Something Officer Keen shrugs off is just part of the job. You know what I did? Why we're here is, is really not a big deal. It's something we do pretty much every day, and that's what we'll continue to do because we love the job. Love to make a difference. A difference Erin Roskowski and her mother will never forget. It wasn't even about him being a police officer. It was about him being a genuinely good-hearted person. Three, two, one. For Atlanta News First Surprise Squad, I'm Gurvier Dinza.